Ladies, can we have a serious conversation? A lot of women are saying they want a man. But the way y'all dressing and presenting yourselves, it seems like you want little boys. Let me explain. See, a lot of women, you 30 plus, 40 plus, 50 plus, even 60 plus. And you dressing like the 19 and 20 and 25 year old. They're not looking for a husband. They're looking for a little boy toy. They look for somebody to, you know, have a little boyfriend and girlfriend relationship with. You're a grown woman. You, speak, you say you're looking for a husband. Well, dressed like that, you're not looking for a serious man. Because a serious man's going to look right past you. One that want to smash, oh yeah, he'll give you some attention. But like I said, he want to smash. He don't really want nothing serious. Ladies, decorum is a lot better than looking harsh. Just plain and simple. Some of the dresses y'all wear to a dinner date with a guy look like you're going to the club. Why do that at a dinner date? You know? Every time you turn around, you're twerking. Why are you twerking in a restaurant? Why are you twerking at a dinner date? Why are you twerking? If it's a party, okay. If it's a club, okay. But why are you always twerking? Stop all that twerking. For one, like I said, you're grown women. Don't you know how to dance? A two-step always sufficed. Two-step Move your hips a little bit. It's sexy. You don't have to do all that twerking. Then when you're taking pictures, you always got to turn to the back. Or you always got to squat all the way down. And then, like, those poses look sexual. They don't look like you're serious. If you want a man to take you serious, you have to take yourself serious first, ladies. And a lot of y'all don't seem like you're taking yourself seriously. So, I know people might not like me for this video. And they think I'm being whatever they think I'm being. So, Diddy or whatever. But I'm not. I'm trying to teach y'all ladies and women to come back to being ladies. Because too many out here are not acting like ladies. And like I said, the young ones, I get it. They're young. They're just starting out. But if they had grown women, ladies... That's not just grown in age, but maturity-wise. To know that you sending them out here like that, you throwing them to the wolves, ladies. Teach them to cover up. Teach them to, 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 to respect their bodies. I tell my daughter all the time, why are you twerking? But mom, we young, I like that. I get it, but come on, let's calm it down. And like I said, especially you ladies. This, you know, and I get it. We liberate. We can do what we want to. Yeah, you can. But if it puts a stain on you that you can't get off, thank yourself for that. Don't get mad at the men and say, oh, it's the men. It's you. You put yourself out there like that. You put that stain on you. It's just like women that say a lot of sexual partners. If people know a lot of times yeah, they want to smash, but they don't want to marry you. And it's, I know you be like, it's not right because you were young when you did it. You know, true. That's true. But people still have the right to do what they want and to decide what they want. So, like I said, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I see and how I see things going and how the women are not being ladies. When I got on a dress that's down to my knees... And not in a big flabby dress, but like it could be a fitted dress, but it don't have to be tight, tight, you know. But it's down to my knees, and I can have on sandals, some little, little, little heel or whatever. My toes done, my nails done, and men will open the door for me. They will hold the door open for me. They will make sure they speak, hello, how are you? They would do stuff like that. When I got on leggings and my sneakers, 
They ain't trying to hold no door open. They'll go in the door and let it close. <laughs> For real. They hardly speak. I know someone's like, well, that ain't actually had nothing to do with it. They looking at you for your looks. No, they looking like she's a lady. Let me treat her as such. Not saying something wrong with your sneakers and, and your leg and stuff, because I do it too. But sometimes, ladies, just dress up for yourself. I know when COVID hit, some women that had corporate jobs and they had to go in, they started dressing down. Why? Because you didn't have that corporate job to go to? You still had yourself to wake up to every morning and look at. You still had your husband, your man to see you. Why is it? Because it was, you know, it's a requirement for that job. I get that. But do it for yourself, too. For when it makes you feel better. It feels better to look like a woman and feel like a woman. And you feel more feminine. I mean, real talk. I used to be the type to wear pants all the time and sneakers and all of that. But once I started putting on dresses and a little heel, you know, it gives you a different walk. It gives you a different stance, a different, you know, pose and everything. So, yeah, ladies, let's get back to that. I ain't saying you have to do it every day. But I know some of these men got tired of it doing the, you know, doing COVID because they was like, you was dressing up to go to your job and then you got to do Zoom meetings. You just got a button up on with some pajama pants, you know, down at the bottom so they could see that you're still a professional up top, but the bottom, you got pajama pants on. And ladies, I get it. If you like pajama pants, I get it. But a man want to see some lingerie every now and then. You know, they want to see something sexy every now and then. Ain't no wrong with your pajama pants if that's what you like to wear. But if you got a husband or a man that lives with you, or not even live with you, if you just if he your man, give him a treat like that every now and then. He wants to see that. He enjoys seeing that. Even if like women say it only stay on for five seconds, okay. Make it stay on longer. How do we make it stay on longer, you ask? Do some foreplay. <laughs> That way he can't take it off right then. He can see you perform in it. Do a little strip tease. That way you can make it last as long as you want to before you take it off. Even if you're trying to rip off, uh-uh-uh-uh, you have to wait. You know, ladies, we are sexy. We are feminine. We are tender. It's just that look sometimes. Just that little smile sometimes could brighten somebody's day. Can help your man to feel better. Can help you to feel better. So, ladies, let's get back to being ladies. Stop all this twerking on the internet. All this cursing. I mean, you do not look feminine. You do not like a lady when every word out your mouth is a curse word. Why? We got different words that we can use. You learn your vocabulary. Learn how to use those different words instead of curse words all the time. You know, some men see a woman and she real pretty, she look feminine. Then she open her mouth and it just destroys everything. And not just for the men, some women feel that way. Like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. But then she opened her mouth and it just was like, what? I get it. You see it on the internet. You see it on the TV. You see it probably in your household or in your family somewhere. But you don't have to do that. These young ladies that I encounter, I try to teach them to grow up to be ladies. That's what the Bible say. Us older women are supposed to be teaching the younger women. And maybe y'all be like, well, I ain't old. I ain't say I'm old. I said older. So anybody that's under me, I could be trying to teach them. You know? So ladies, let's get it together. Let's find some decorum. If you don't know what that means, look it up. But it's all just keeping yourself together. If you're going to show a little bit of your chest, show less of your legs. If you're going to show a little of your legs, show less of your your chest. You know, little pieces. You don't give it all. Don't give it all. Don't give it all. Don't let everybody see it. That's something that should be uncovered when you're ready to be intimate with somebody in the bedroom. 
don't don't put it all out on front street i get it you got a big butt you got big breasts you might can't cover it up but what you can do is not really explore it not put the tightest thing on not put the pants on this this cup in your, your your camel toe you know what i'm saying and if you do have those type of pants on put a shirt on long enough so where you can't see it you know don't have the pants on that those stretch you know leggings that when you bend over it, it's thin enough to see that you know you see your booty cheeks yeah no no ladies come on now and i see a lot of women doing it, especially women that have husbands and i be thinking like wow <laughs> your husband is cool with that which it might not be they might say you know, say something about it but still some women just like, i'm gonna do what i want to do and that's not right you should listen to your husband concerns because he should be the one that want to protect you so maybe he's trying to protect you when you're not around him like little dudes looking at that i don't want no dude looking at my woman like that i mean you already gorgeous you already pretty they're looking at your face I don't want them seeing, you know, you can't help but look at your face. But I don't want them seeing everything that, that I supposed to be the only one seeing. Come on, ladies. Let's get it together, okay? Come on. We have to. We have to get it right for these young ones. And, you know, some of these older ones. <laughs> we have to get it right. So let's get it together, all right, ladies? Let's be ladies. Ladies okay <laughs> so thank you for tuning in for watching for subscribing for liking for commenting for sharing and for everything you do i thank you and i hope you enjoyed this video hope you take something from it hope you don't get all discombobulated by it and if you do maybe you should check your spirit and try to figure out why because it's not me it's you remember you stay blessed because you are blessed